Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple traffic jam puzzle game for Android device using Unity Engine. You can find art and script assets by the links in the description. First create a new scene and add it to your build. Next let's create some kind of parking lot. I take one of the fancy sprite and edit it to the scene. Then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus D key and snap this new fence to the first one holding V key. Duplicate again, rotate by 90 degrees and snap that way. Continue to duplicate to rotate and snap and you got our parking lot. Last fence should be shorter than others, so we've got exit from this parking. Select all of the fences and add a box collider to them. Then add a rigid body to the component and set its body type to kinematic, so fence now acts as an obstacle for our cars. Then add a grid to our scene, so we could easily put the cars to their initial positions. Snap this grid to the corner of our parking. Add cars and trucks to the scene. Select all of them and add a box collider component. Then add a rigid body to the component, freeze its Z rotation, set gravity scale to zero, set collision detection to continuous. It's time to place our cars. Take one and position it the way it takes two cells and doesn't overlap nearby cells. Take another car and position it the same way. Car appears behind the grid. To fix this issue, select all of the vehicles and set their order in layer to 5, for example. Now they are rendered in front of the grid. We should change order in layer for fans too, so fans and vehicles will be rendered in front of further background, which will have order in layer equals to 0. Place all of the rest vehicles. Cars takes 2 cells. Trucks take 3 cells. Here we go. Select first car. It is going to move only in X direction, so we should freeze its Y position. Second car goes in X direction too, freeze its Y position. Car 3 goes in Y direction, freeze its X position. Car 4 goes in X, freeze its Y. Do the same with the trucks. Ok, to move our vehicles by dragging them, we need a script. Here it is. Script is well commented, so it mustn't be a problem to understand it. Ok, select all of the cars. And add a script component which is drag script. Now we can remove our helping grid. Create new empty game object. Name it Wind Zone. Add a box collider to the component. Position it right behind the exit from parking. Check its trigger option. Win zone needs a script. Here it is. So when red car hits its collider, then you win. 
add the script to WinZone game object. WinZone will show up Win text. Let's create new UI text. Name it Win text. Position it at the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Edit it. Set font family. Set font size. Set alignment. Set overflow and color. I always set canvas scale mode to scale with screen size as long as I'm making games for mobile devices. Select Win Zone game object and drag and drop Win text to its corresponding slot. Next, create new UI button. Name it Restart button. Position it at the left bottom holding Alt plus Shift key. Set its width and height. Edit a text component. Restart button needs a simple script to reload our scene. Here it is. Drag and drop this script to restart button. Select restart button and add new on-click function. Select restart button game object here. Then select restart scene method from its script. Finally, let's add a background image. And I think our target car should be faced towards the exit. Flip its sprite in X direction. OK. Now let's play. We can move vehicles by dragging them. And when puzzle is solved, we win. And we can restart and play again. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.